So, bro, the future is the future bright? Like, like, yeah. Let's start with there. Like, do you see? Do you see a before we go into like the the mm. characters that you expect, um, what you want to see, mm. um, what you're looking forward to? A simple one, like, do you think that the future is bright? Because I think I hear a lot of superhero fatigue. Um, you know, we need something different. It's too samey. Do you think that Disney can still go on ahead and do what they're doing the MCU and still get good success or no? <laughs> it's, a funny, it's, it's funny when you said about superhero fatigue because, um, like, the film I'm looking forward to the most this year is, is, is Dune. Mm. And I actually posted in a Dune Reddit forum that, like, Man, I really want Dune to succeed because I have superhero fatigue. <laughs> because I feel that after Endgame, it was like, bro, this is like, I don't, I don't know how you can match this. Mm. And we saw that piece of trash that was the six hours of Zack Snyder's nonsense. <laughs> and, and, and for me, that was a perfect example of superhero fatigue, which was that piece of garbage. So, see, my thing is that this hinges on X Men. Okay. X Men is okay. the key because for me it's like, bro, I'm I'm so I'm going to talk to you. I'm I'm worried about Storm, man. I'm really, really, really. Oh, in what worried sense? In about, what sense? I just I just have a feeling they're going to like botch a character because maybe this is a side. I'm I'm, I'm going to I'm keeping this in the video. Is that like with a lot of I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a trend. Maybe like you know, beauty. Please oh, don't oh, leave me so. But we, no, 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 no. Where the way they portray black, black women in them is that if they often seem to be a the, the, the sort of falcon sidekick type of mm. take a back seat to their like like white women. Mm. Um, whether it's the first Captain Marvel when um, the oh. uh, the Rambo, you know, and just and it was like you know like oh you're amazing you're this you're this you're that to to thingy and then even in one division when you had her daughter monochrombo yeah, yeah. But i'm looking forward to i think she i'm looking forward to hopefully getting in a fight with captain marvel that would be sweet. yeah 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 but even in that in that it was kind of like at the end it was like you know they'll never you did your best for them wonder she did they're like what is i'm like what is wrong with you why are mm. you so you, you literally you're siding with someone no, who, no, but, but, but and, that, and in and sorry, and and in the, even in the X Men series when they when they made Storm the first time they they, they, they did her, um, sorry, not the um, the original Storm, but the uh, I think the reboot, the younger one, they again portrayed her as like I want to be just like Jennifer Lawrence's Mystique. I'm like what the hell? No, Storm does not want to be like Jennifer. Storm does not want to be like a shapeshifter. Storm is an omega an omega level mutant who yeah, can no, control no, the no. very weather. Like I'm, uh, like I'm worried. I've already said that. Like, no, Mike, from, it's so funny you say this because I literally was about to do a video about how, oh no, we need to have a storm done justice. Mm. I already have my beef with that X Men. I hated those X Men films mm. because, again, they should have cast Angela Bassett as Storm. That was, that was the obvious move. Like, mm. Halle Berry was horrendous casting. But for me, Storm is such a major character. Mm. They Like, they can't do Like, Storm is literally one of the biggest. Because, like, Monica Rambeau, all these guys, who, who are these people? But mm. my thing is that so that whole x thing was weird. But the fact that Brand Singh is now out of out of it and, 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 and so forth. Because for me, Storm is needed. Because it's like... Storm is needed. Storm is but, definitely needed. And also, we're, we're in a different time. You see, back in 98, when X-Men came out, this was pre-BLM, pre-racial... So it was a very different world. So you could get away with... Storm being a battered person. There's been so much stuff done with like, you know, diversity, inclusivity and everything that's, if you're doing a Storm movie, oh, it's going to be a major character. And this crazy thing is, mm. it's, um, her name is Tiana Paris, who mm. is Monica Rambeau in the thingy. Mm. She should have been Storm. Mm. She should have been Storm. So, mm. so, but, no, but like, X-Men. I, I would, I would love, I would love, I would love like, actually like an African like and like mm. a, just an African, whether like a Nollywood actor or something like that, I would love a, oh, a, no. a like like from because in obviously in comics she's from she is like from an um, African um, African, African or Egypt, Egypt or Sudan or something like that. Mm. So like orphan or yeah, no, you no, know, no, or, you know. So I, I, just... no, I mean, no, look, it's like I think because that's going to be a major major casting because I mm. think like because it's because again because I already believe that Black Panther is going to focus on the Dora Milaje. Mm. I think that's that's what's also mm. going to be getting in. Mm. So I do think that it's going to be very important that they make the right casting. And no, you 
they would be a freaking opera if they screw over Storm. Major mm -hmm. opera. Because for me, the key to this is that because Captain America and Iron Man were so iconic as characters and they were so mm -hmm. huge, and Thor is a piece of crap, garbage, useless character. <laughs> and see, Spider Man is my guy. Spider Man's always been my guy, and I have my feelings about how they've portrayed Spider Man because I like. Yeah, I, I, I have. Criticism I just don't with, know. I have criticism see, see, with, with, with the Spider issue is with Spider Man is, guys, this is Spider Man. Like, I have an argument that Spider Man is the most popular comic book character of all he time. He is. Yeah, he is. He is. Because he is, people he say, is, "Oh, Superman," but I say, "No." no Every child always prefers Spider-Man. So every child will always go to Spider-Man first before they go mm -hmm. to Batman. So every kid rocks with Spider-Man amongst guys like of my generation and so forth. So my thing is that the issue, uh, issue I had with Spider-Man is big, and this is my criticism of the MCU. People are so MCU, MCU that everything has to interconnect. You've mm -hmm. pretty much handicapped mm -hmm. Spider-Man's agency yeah. because yeah. he's using Iron Man's he used yeah. Iron Man's tech for the two films, and now I'm hearing yeah, that yeah. apparently he may use Doctor Strange's magical oh, suit and everything for the what? whole thing. So I'm like, what? guys, Peter, Peter Parker what? is like a borderline genius. Yeah, Peter Parker is a guy who, no, he is a science nerd. So he creates the stuff by himself. That's why but, but he's good at mine. So this is the thing why I don't I don't really get why a lot. Of, I mean, still for me, to me, the best Spider-Man movie to date so far is, is Into the Spider Verse. That 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 doesn't I, I that I, I can't think of a better and that includes live action movies as well mm. because of how I feel they got or the essence of of, of Spider Man actually is you know so responsibility loss whilst trying mm. to basically live a normal life that's basically what for me what the essence of, Sp of Spider Man Spider Man is but the issue with I think Tom Hansen going forward is like as you said like he seems to be need additional people to come into so can't be his own character. He, he, they don't seem to sort of really so far been focus on his um, intelligence capabilities. I also got criticism of the fact that like in the first two movies, up until the end of the second movie, I was like, where's this guy's struggle or loss? Like he's not, he's literally just, he's basically just a middle school, middle class guy. Like who's mm. not really like, like part of the thing with, like, with Spider-Man is just like, it's like, it's just the relatability. Yeah. And he's just basically a dude who's basically like looks middle class, like just even the whole bullying with Flash and stuff like he, like he's he's basically a well to do guy doing okay. And you're like, what's yeah, he's I, got no, this? But, and then no one could Ben, no one could Ben annoys me. That, that 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 part of that is the defining part of his character. So no one could Ben. I'm not saying you should play out death scenes again, but the fact that he's not even being referenced mm. like at all, and that Iron Man is now his dad. It's like yeah, yeah. No, it's, 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 it's because it's funny because I watched him. Um, um, the second one again, mm. and I was like, okay, let me. And I was like, oh wow, like this, I'm really not, I'm really not engaged. Mm. And I was like, I don't know what it's because, like, it is well made, and it, and maybe it's because the, because I think if the jokes don't hit, then that's problematic. Mm. You know, like when you watch something like a Back to the Future, the mm. jokes just hit and they're like timeless. Mm -hmm. But for me, these jokes are like. Oh, uh, I know you're saying, but they just don't really hit. So I actually didn't really enjoy it watching mm. it the second time. So, but mm. back to this whole thing, as in what's next? Mm. X Men is is critical. Yeah, like obviously, I know they want to do. I'll be real with you, man. You've you've tried twice with Fantastic Four. Chill, just 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 you've I... you've already pushed it up twice. You see, for me, mm. X Men mm. is the key. And X Men is definitely key. key. Do it right. Do you think? So, do you think? So do you ask this question? Do you think that they will try and bring back Hugh Jackman? If they if they do that, I'm I'm taking a, a nuke to Kevin Feige's place. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, like, you know, you know, I'm I'm going to say Hugh Jackman is a great actor. He was amazing mm. in Prestige. He was amazing in Prison. Really good actor. Mm. Wolverine is short. Mm. I'm sorry. Like that is <laughs> if you watch the Fox TV show from the mm. early 90s and so forth, mm. he constantly references to his height. Mm, mm. It's a major part of his character. It's mm, not like, mm. oh, no, no, no. It is a key part of his character is of mm. him being a short guy. Mm. And Hugh Jackman did a great job, but that whole thing of, it's like, imagine if, you know, like Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if Tyrion was tall. It totally changed the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like him being short is an important part of his character. If if Tyrion was tall, it's completely changed what his character is about because Wolverine is the underdog where 
He may be small, but don't underestimate it because the yeah. guy is freaking tough and vicious for his size. So mm. my thing is that it is very important that you get the Wolverine character right, but it's important. See, this is what that piece of crap Brand Singer did. See, now I'm just getting all of my frust <laughs> yeah. so, badge. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, so, I, mean, I mean, we know that Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds is going to be... I mean, that I have no problem with. I think hmm. Ryan Reynolds is always going to do the Deadpool role, and I think that's just going to... And Deadpool oh, yeah, is yeah, yeah. counting himself, so he's obviously going to be in. But it's just when I saw that, I was like thinking, is that... Is that potentially a sign that you know they're going to roll over certain X, like X Men, Sony sort of, and that might not just be Hugh Jackman, but even um, Michael Fassbender, you know, a few other people from the X Men franchise coming it's, it's, over and doing this. Well, my, like what's his name, Eve, the uh, Quicksilver guy. I mean, I know oh, yeah. he was a dumb person, but they still used him, so they still acknowledge the fact that. But, but no, but he wasn't. You know he, I mean? he, he wasn't Quicksilver. Oh yeah, I know, I know. He was just some other dude. He was just another dude, but it's, it's still the fact that like that there was still there's still an acknowledgement mm. of this sort of thing, even though it, it, it was just some random dude. You still chose this person, knowing full well what he kind of represented, which t tells me that like Disney are, are not going to have a problem potentially taking characters from that fox. Yeah. But and but so my it... worry, so my worry, bro. Sorry, I know you're going to speak. Is that what happens if they do that with Storm? Because I oh, didn't like the oh, new. Fuck I didn't. You, man. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, I had to swim, man. I had to swim. No, no, no. Because I, I saw the not the not the Halle Berry storm, but the new, um, younger storm. Oh, and, and to be honest, she, I think it's Justice Smollett. No, I think she, it might be Smollett. So yeah, oh, so, oh yeah, no. she was she was worse than even even Halle Berry, man. Like, uh, like as soon as she said, "I look up to Mystique. I want to be like her." I was like, "Get off my screen." And and, and also, Get okay, first screen. of all, if you're doing. Can we, can, can, can we please have a dark skin storm? This is supposed to be a character from Africa that's African. Can we mm. please, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to say, can we please have <laughs> a, a dark <laughs> skin storm? Please, let's have a dark skin. You've already had two light skin. Can I have a, a dark skin storm? And my other thing as well is, you see, get it right now. Cyclops is the leader. Mm. Storm is second in command. Mm. Wolverine is the outsider. Mm. Like, the dynamics of X-Men is crucial. Because by making Wolverine the leader and so forth, you negate his character. The reason why his character is so good, why we gravitate towards him, is because he's the outsider, mm. and he's at loggerheads with Cyclops, who is the more natural mm. leader. Him. Well, and let me. Strong. Well, let me go into because obviously we're talking a lot about X Men. We're going to mm. a few things like, and it's time to like, how do you think that they will? Because I, th I don't think they're going to be interested in X Men in this phase in Phase Four. Mm -hmm. so no. Like Phase Five, I think. Yeah. So how do you think they will introduce X Men? Because they're mutants, they're born with it. We haven't heard of any mutant stuff like mm. all this time. So how do they go now and reintroduce mutants or the constant mutants into the MCU? But then look, your your boy at the far right there, I think Blade. Mm. So maybe Blade may be a film in which, because what's it called? There have been crossovers with Blade and Spider-Man, X-Men and yeah. so forth. Okay. So maybe in the Blade film, that's probably where he may come into contact or, or somewhat into okay. some of these meetings. Because again, it's again, it, it goes. It, if let's you introduce the X Men, did have they always existed in this timeline, okay. or do they exist in another timeline? Hence, why Doctor for me, Doctor Strange is the key. Okay. So maybe if things get so crazy, Doctor mm -hmm. Strange is like, oh, you know what? We have some crazy dudes in another timeline, and mm -hmm. maybe. That's where we now see maybe Doctor Strange and the Beasts combined because they're both like scientists. Mm -hmm. And maybe he now goes into the timeline and tries to bring the X-Men or somehow if something happens and mm -hmm. X-Men are coming to this timeline and so forth mm -hmm. through Doctor Strange trying to solve all the timelines um, re-emerging. Mm -hmm. But my thing is that's true. Because from what I've been hearing, they want to try and <laughs> do Fantastic Four for the third time. Which I think <laughs> yeah, is just yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah, the bad. Because like Michael B. Jordan is done with the role, so, so they can't do that reboot one. No. And I'm sure Alba and people are not going to do it. So my thing is, is it, okay, would you want another Fantastic Four or scratch that and just do x -Men? See, See, the funny thing about Fantastic Four is that I've never really... The irony is that I, I actually like... I actually prefer the Fantastic Four in the Ultimate Universe... Mm. So, because in the in the uh, because in the Ultimate Universe, like long the Ultimate Universe is weird in the comics, but in the Ultimate Universe, a uh, uh, Reed Richards becomes like a really really serious villain. He's called like the Maker or something like that. Like okay. Google it, the Maker Reed Richards, and like he's like a he's like just a psychotic but eerily sinister kind of character. And I, and, I, and 
interpretation of Reed Richards, and it's just very interesting uh, how they how they did it. Um, to be honest, the only reason why I like to see the Fantastic Four is 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 because of what's associated with the Fantastic Four, not necessarily the team itself, but the certain characters, the certain individuals that I know that are associated with them that I might see. Mm. So, like I said, the Ultimate version of him, who's who's good, even their child, I think Frank and Richards, who's like a ridiculously powerful. Um, character reality warping etc galact <laughs> like galactus like mm. they're a lot the negative zone right there so it's not so much them it's that i know that if i they come in i'm going to start to see a lot of interesting characters that i want to see in the mcu mostly villains or like really powerful characters um that just that wouldn't make sense if they just popped off like even kang technically mm. the first team to see kang it was it was the fantastic four oh, okay you know, so uh, even a part of me is thinking, oh, maybe in Ant Man, are we going to see potentially a nod towards the Fantastic Four or something like that? Because he was the first person that they superheroes that Kang actually. I, I, I know what they may do. I think this would mm. be the smart way to do it, rather than risk making another standalone film and that's flopping. Mm. Mm. Just put them into an Avengers film, mm. so they're just characters within an Avengers team up thing mm. because. The powers are so it's one thing that Green Fantasy for like they have great powers, mm. and those powers are really useful mm. in a kind of superhero battle and so forth. Mm. So mm. the best thing to do is rather than just giving a standalone film, just incorporate them into mm. a um or like like an Avengers film. But for me personally, mm. we need an X-Men film. Mm. And we see we need an X-Men. It's like because something tells me that they they may try and just bring back James McAvoy and, and Fassbender. That's what I have. I have a feeling that they might. They might and, and, because, no, okay, wait, 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 they, okay, that's oh, fine. But mm, mm. Hugh Jackman, no, fuck mm. no, please no. I mean, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm that. This guy, you've been in like no, no, come on, man, no, no. I just, I wish wouldn't be. I mean, a part of me thinks that 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 because of this whole multi verse. So, 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 sorry, thing, real quick. Did yeah. you know Hugh Jackman has been playing Wolverine? For longer than some people have been alive for, <laughs> because because not, not some people like 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 yeah, some people on, on the and... have been yeah, mm. no ninety eight. Mm. X Men was oh, a nine wow. ninety eight. Yeah, the first one. I thought it was two thousand for some reason. You might. I think. I think it might be two thousand. I think it might be two thousand. I think it was two. I thought it was two thousand. Two thousand. No, no, no. Ninety eight is Blade. Ninety eight is Blade. Ninety eight is Blade. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Unlucky that Wesley Snipes couldn't have prized yes, his uh, prizes 2000, as well, 2000. So. Yeah, 2000. Spe uh, speaking of Blade, it's been like, uh, is there any particular um, like shows that like you're like you're really keen to like see going forward? Like, like show. Well, okay, two questions: shows mm. that you're looking forward to see, and second, are there any specific characters that you haven't seen yet that you would like to see in the MCU? Um. I think that it's fun, you know? Just look at all these MC shows, mm -hmm. an X-Men show would be really good. Okay. Because it's an ensemble, mm -hmm. rather than just doing another reboot film, having mm -hmm. like an X-Men show would probably be would probably be really good if just cast as well and so forth. I would love an X-Men TV series, man. That'd be amazing. I would, I've been so if it if it shares anything like the animated one beforehand oh, yeah. story. Which was amazing. Just... Especially if you make it in that vein where it's mm. really serious, is dealing with stuff about like racism, xenophobia and so forth. Mm. And it gets really mm. but it's the issue that see Disney will never go that deep. You see, yeah. Fox could go really deep because it was, yeah. it was freaking Fox. But I don't know whether Disney can really go into the whole xenophobia you know, yeah. racism aspects of it, but they can sort the whole because the whole because that because they even said, I mean, I think it's Stan Lee, I think said like like Magneto and Xavier were based on Martin Luther King and Malcolm yeah. X. It yeah. was a whole idea of different they're both mm. mutants, as it were, both blacks, but the way that they're going about, they have different ideologies on how they achieve their specific outcome one wants peace and the way the other one's like now nah, we're never gonna it's never gonna we need to be able to take things by force and so on you know so so you're right i don't know whether you know going forward whether they go down that line and explore those ideologies and mm. etc or they they focus more on um because none of the x-men shows really i mean they 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 obviously dealt with the whole people don't like them hate them hate them and stuff but i don't think mm. they, they went 
Um, it's forever, what, it's wait, you mean, you mean in, in the films or the TV show? Uh, in in the films, definitely. In the TV show, in the TV show, they did that absolutely because you saw you saw like certain characters that that epit epitomize mm. that, and obviously the sentence or what well, have no, you. No, no, no. See, for me, that was always my issue with the films is that the films where well, the films were never as deep as the cartoon. Mm. Like the cartoon really got deep into that whole concept, and I think the films just sort of hinted at it, but it never really got deep because see, see they just seem to be obsessed with like making Jean Grey. Like like the main big bad dark phoenix thing. It's like every, almost everything was always built up. It, it was just and, and Jean was, Grey doing her thing. Like I, the, I don't the, care about Jean Grey. No no no. The, the biggest issue with that was um, the, there was too much focus on Wolverine. Mm. No Wolverine is not in the spotlight. Hence mm. why he like the spotlight is side. This is really mm. about Cyclops, Jean Grey, Storm, mm. and of course they, they are the main fulcrum. Mm -hmm. And then Beast and thing is these guys are just on the outside, like Gambit, mm -hmm. um, um, Rogue. They're all mm -hmm. like like on, on the outside. So mm -hmm. it's like, and, and also I think that was annoying, like how they turned Rogue into like a little girl, whether she was a totally different, like Rogue yeah. is supposed to be like a very sexual, because mm -hmm. he, and that makes more sense that she's sexual because she can't touch anyone, mm -hmm. you know? So, no, 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 but, but I mean, I think they've done most characters, you know I mean? I mean, I would like to see Craven the Hunter, who might yeah. be a villain in yeah. the next Black Panther film. So he's, he's a really interesting one. But I mean, it's like, I think the one I'm looking forward is obviously um, Blade mm. and see how they do Blade. Because mm. see, my thing is, Thor, is re Thor could have been a really good character here. Mm. But Chris Hemsworth is so garbage <laughs> and they so <laughs> dropped the ball that basically Thor, basically Thor is yeah. now a joke. He's not a computer. Mm. Hence why, like, mm. that garbage new film that they're bringing, like, who cares about the, about, about, about garbage? But it's like, mm. yeah, but, but the thing with Blade, though, is that, uh, man, it's going to be hard to replace the him. Big, the, the big thing on characters right now is that they, they've introduced a lot of heroes. For me, it's the villains. Like, I mm. want to see how they do Doctor Doom. I want to see how they do Do so, Doctor so, Doom so, properly. So, do you think you know? that he's going to be the next big bad than Doctor Doom? Well, we're gonna. I'm, I, I was gonna talk like later about like Dark Avengers because I have mm. a theory going in, in into it. I so I don't think he'll necessarily be the big bad, but possibly like in one of those intermediary villains. Like he possibly might be like the new Loki. Okay, okay make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Like not necessarily an overarching, but someone that's there to cause like persistent problems for the Avengers and, and obviously the fant uh, Fantastic Four. But you know, Doctor Doom in Doc Doctor Doom, much like Storm has been introduced badly twice badly in the fantastic four it was just it was just some pretty boy guy. oh that dude yeah, yeah that yeah, guy yeah. i just don't know and, he, and then in the and then and in the remake i don't even know what that was <laughs> at the end of it. I just so my man doom who's probably one of the, the best written characters in all of marvel comics mm. for his backstory needs some needs some justice it's, it's, he no, no, needs no. to be on words just i mean because you're not People come like I. I still feel they dropped the ball on Thanos. Okay. Thanos could have been an all-time villain. Okay. And people forget this. You do realize that in Endgame, they didn't actually fight the Thanos we've all known. Mm, mm. So they fought a dude who was like, "Wait, who the heck are you guys?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Thanos who we saw. From 2012 and so forth, they beheaded him in like the first few minutes <laughs> and the start yeah, of Endgame. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so that was, but, but I think for me, Thanos could have really been that dude. But it's, and this is where it goes back to the whole thing of respecting villains. Mm. Villains are bad, evil people. Mm. We're not here to understand them. We're not here to mm. reason with them. They're just evil. Mm. Mm. I think that they tried to humanize Thanos so much rather than say no mm. he's just an evil bastard mm. that's it I think I think we're seeing that I'll ask this question before we move on to the speculative mm. Dark Avengers thing is that like I mean what I'm noticing especially in, and I don't think it's just in Marvel but in movies in general is that we're almost seeing this kind of you know back in the day you literally had like okay you know heroes villains there's no murky waters no dichotomy yeah. batman good joker bad lex Luthor bad you know mm -hmm. superman good and so on that's just it mm. whereas now you know you, we're almost seeing like heroes being almost like anti-heroes mm. and villains over time also becoming anti-heroes yeah and there's, like there's, there's there's moral entry. yeah exactly so there's this moral ambiguity like you said before you with thanos is like 
this is a guy in the comics who basically his only motivation was like, I love death. I, I, I want to please death. So I'm going to just annihilate everyone because I want to sat just satisfy my lust. That yeah. was it. That was yeah. the motivation. Here it's like, okay, balance. you can kind of see what he's trying to talk about, balance and things and his perspective. And you're like, so yeah, you, you're right. I, I don't, and that's and this is the thing with people with Doom as well, because Doom is that is the type of character where he has to be written well because he is a villain, mm. but he's a complex villain mm. in that, like, you're like, he clearly is one, but the manner by which he gets to it is like, okay, whoa, okay, I see what's going on. Does that make sense? I get it, mm -hmm. I understand, mm -hmm. but you're still mm -hmm. an asshole. And I think that my fear of doom and, and other villains that like might come in like there are a lot of villains that i've not seen yet that i really want to be to be seen and, and my criticism of the mcu so far is that they just uh, they, they've butchered a lot of villains mm. they've killed a lot of i don't know whether you watch black widow black widow yet um but the way they handled a certain character spoilers for those who haven't watched black widow oh spoilers, yeah spoilers 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 spoilers, spoilers. spoilers, spoilers if you don't watch black widow but they did my man taskmaster badly they destroy Bro. Taskmaster. No, 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 like, because see, see, for me, because obviously yeah. I don't really know the Taskmaster mm. character that well, but my mm. thing is, after watching Black Widow, it's like, mm. I watched the film where they, I don't think there was a villain in that film. Like, what there wasn't really, no. like, a baddie in that mm. film. Mm. And Taskmaster was just the girl behind the whole thing. So, the Black Widow was a mess. That's that, for me. Mm. See, Black but Widow this, was an unnecessary film. But it's the problem what I've seen with, like, some of the more like film, film on led movies is that the same with Captain Marvel is that like it's almost like they can't create a menacing competent villain because that would cause problems for the main character so they kind of have to create the villain in a way where they're menacing usually for other reasons hmm. but um they can't be competent so as to cause the, any real issues no, no, but, but, but my thing is that Okay, when you saw because when no, you saw no, no, the no, main no. guy, go on, yeah. No, go I understand on. that for Black Widow, but in terms of Captain Marvel or Storm, you are super, super, supernova superheroes. Mm. So really, you should be giving formidable opponents. But my opponents, thing is that yeah. maybe there is a thinking of do we want to see women get beat up and so forth, and maybe yeah, so that kind of thing. That's what I'm saying. That's my kind of things like they seem to be treading the kind of the the, the water one where they don't want to be shown like the struggle the struggle mm. you know and that's why when this i thought like with task they should have used task max in this better because okay fine see it you didn't see who, who was in task mass space they mm. and then you find out who it is and it's like some just dry oh, 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 so, sorry you just reminded me as well mm. Myst mysterio was garbage what yeah, a waste they did, they did. You, you have it's, a guy it's, like it's... jake gyllenhaal an amazing yeah. actor yeah. And you totally waste him with such a horrible written character. Yeah. Just absolutely this is, horrible. This is what I'm saying. My main issue with the MC right now is that, like, I can count on my hand probably why would deem the good, well-written villains. Loki, okay, maybe there. Thanos, okay, for what he did, fine. Mm. And I probably maybe say, um, like, Hela from Thor Ragnarok. I could yeah. gel with Hela. I think she was, she, was pretty, she was pretty cool. Other than that, most other villains on there like are memorable gone and a lot of these villains are major or major to minor I mean, characters. I mean, to be, no, actually, you know what? I liked Vulture though. Okay, Vulture yeah, okay, was Vulture. decent. He was decent. He was Vulture, decent. But, okay, but okay, my okay, thing is, yeah, and, and, and Killmonger. Sorry, that's another one. Killmonger was up there as well. Yeah. Yes, Killmonger. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But everyone else. Um,